Good morning, December 1st. This is the Ayahuasca Update 2022. Just got back a few weeks ago from South America. It took a little bit of time um, to reprogram, reintegrate a little bit, digest some of that great information I learned, find a way to put it in a clear, precise, articulate fashion because it's just so much information. It's really hard to explain. And this was ceremonies three and four for me. And I couldn't be more impressed with this experience opposed to the previous one. Not that my sessions one and two or ceremonies one and two were bad. It was just like, oh my goodness, I had a lot of clean up work that needed to be done. Got a lot of great information out of this past round. If you don't know about ayahuasca, the best way that I would explain it is the ability to strip you from your conscious operate in the subconscious while also then being connected to the spiritual information that I truly believe is intuition. And ayahuasca comes in, speaks with you, and it's really all the information from all the spirits that have ever lived. So how could it ever be wrong? It's going to give you what you need for your soul. It's going to heal you differently than it's going to heal me because we all have things that are plaguing us, limiting beliefs, things that happened to us in adolescence, growing up, things that really need to be reworked. So it's not going to handle our healing the same. It's going to literally attack whatever it is you need the most amount of healing with in this moment, and it is never wrong. So that's the best way that I could truly explain it, is the ability to work within your subconscious without having any of this light, noise, distraction, etc. And then when you operate that close to the other side without actually passing away, it gives you a newfound respect once you come back into this conscious being on how to operate, operating with a higher level of consciousness. Not that you're better than anyone, it's just that you have a deeper level of understanding of what's going on and a little bit more etched in stone values, ethics, and how you wanna live this life because what it did tell me was, hey, Devin, everyone believes that you're going to a heaven or a hell, but you're actually returning home. Let that sit in. You're actually returning home. You've been dead far longer than you've actually been alive. Are you proud of the way in which you've been living your life? Are you proud of the energy in which you have inside yourself on a daily basis? Because broken, broken people always try and heal broken people and hurt people always hurt people. So you have to understand that that is their energy. That is your energy, depending on how you're operating and scope wise. So it really gave me a new understanding of being in control of my own energy and not allowing other energies to affect in other people's daily lives and how they're living their lives to affect me, not taking on their stresses or anxieties. Also, understanding that I must come first because it allowed me to feel the weight of everyone's burdens in the world. I'm a broken person, so I always seek to try and help broken people. But it's not for any single one of us to try and handle the world's problems. It's for every single one of us to do our part. So if every single person would just take their trash and put it in the trash or the recycling, then we wouldn't have a world issue of littering and things all over, right? So if every single person just controlled their energy and did their part, then, right, it's a relatively easy concept. Things wouldn't be so out of whack. However, humans are the ones that will eventually destroy this planet. And it told me that I need to operate with a higher intention in order to serve people at a higher level and I also need to slow down my pace behind the scenes, how I wake up, how I conduct myself in my morning routine. Quit being so on the gun and forwardly and jump out of bed and jump into these tasks as it was sending me into a spiral in my mentality as well with inside of my body, my energy was off. He told me that I need to continue to push the word and spread the word of medicinal healing and tell people about some of the uh, profound effects and the healing things that have been going on with me. 
spread the word about these shamans and people in South America and other places. Because what do we know about America? If it's too healthy and it's too great for you, it's definitely not allowed. Like, let's just be completely honest for a second. The ability to take in information in such a short amount of time that's so impactful. Imagine doing everything in which you know you're supposed to do in order to be the best person possible and recover. You're eating, you're sleeping correctly, you're exercising, you're going to your coach, your mentor, your psychologist, whatever it is. You're writing down, you're journaling at the end of the day, you're meditating and you're just still not having the breakthroughs. That's myself, years and years and years. Now, obviously it had changed the way in which I thought and put some rituals in my life. But imagine if you combine 10 years of those therapy examples, which I just explained and condense all that therapy into a six hour treatment opposed to a 10 year spread, that's the amount of healing which I'm talking about that this plant medicine has on you and the way that it's able to really etch in stone with inside you the additional principles, value sets, the understanding, and like I keep saying, operating at a higher conscious level because now that you've came all the way to the other side and you're flirting with the aspect of passing away and operating in the space of ancestral information, and it's never gonna be wrong. You're gonna be able to come into this life and operate a different way than you once did just X amount of hours before. Now it's gonna be overwhelming. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna test you. It's gonna be one of the things, if not one of the craziest, if not the most extreme things you'll ever go through in your life. But on the other side, you will be the best person which you've ever been. You'll have the most information readily available clear clear information, digestible, and instead, in, instead of believing in God, instead of believing in spirituality, why not just know? Because I remember after coming out of my first ayahuasca experience, I was literally like, came to and I was like, oh my God, I am a believer now. This is insane, but I'm so blessed for plant medicine because coming from where I come from with I mean, let's be honest, at a battered woman's shelter at the age of four years old, my mother is suspended 29 times by the time I hit ninth grade. I'm a high school dropout, only two years of high school education. Me and my father, when he was in prison, it's just a life of some hard knocks, right? So to be able to take in this information, heal in such a short amount of time after I've been in therapy since I was a real little kid, and being in the army for 10 years, you already know I've utilized a lot of their resources in order to become better and heal as well. But nothing, even when you combined a decade or more than a decade of all these healing techniques, nothing has scraped the surface to the amount of healing in which I, I can get or you can get in a matter of hours in South America with this medicine. And then when you stay there and you do it repetitively and you integrate and you work with the indigenous people down there, you're gonna come back such a better person with a clear mind, a good head on your shoulders, with a clear mission to whatever it is that it taught you or whatever your true purpose is. You're gonna be able to unlock those. You're gonna be able to unpack. You're gonna be able to let go of the things in which you've been carrying around for life, the things in which you know are a cloud that follow you. Some of the skeletons in your closet that you don't tell anyone about can be eradicated. You can have your self-love back. You can have your identity back and you can live this life with the most amount of potential possible, but we have to be able to unpack those items. So that's what I would say is a recap about my ayahuasca experience. It has been amazing. If you guys want any additional information, please comment below. I'll be responding back to everyone. Hit me in the DMs. And as I continue to reintegrate and process some of this great information, I'll be then breaking it back down and giving it back to you just like this. I'm going to leave you with this final vision that I had. It was uh, an owl, not too close to me, not too far, but kind of moderate distance. It was looking at me through a drop slot, like a, a mailbox drop slot out of a door. 
the maestro and the shamans told me you're headed the right direction direction is more important than speed is what the spirits are telling you but you have to continue to move forward down this path you're not quite there but you are on the right path so just keep going and that's what i'm going to continue to do and i can't wait to continue to keep documenting my progress my recovery and show you how plant medicine is really changing the world shamans really have western medicine on their heels for the simple fact the amount of healing they're doing in a short amount of time for the minimal monetary expense is amazing it's profounding and i don't know if there's anything that western medicine has that can provide you this amount of clear healthy healing in such a short amount of time remember ayahuasca is truly medicine for the soul as chicken soup heals you when you're sick have a wonderful day. God bless and go ahead and crush the remainder of this year. We only have this last month left in 2022.